What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Jedi Academy. We got one more mission in this little first set of five. So we're going to go ahead and hop to it. You might say that we are moving right along, so loose and fancy free. You might say that. I wouldn't. Alright, so we're going to continue to upgrade at Force Lightning. Unfortunately, at level two, it's still kind of useless. Once you get to three, though, it's ridiculous. In a good way. So this is a fairly linear mission. You'll see what I mean when we get into it. Ah, uh, the old the blow up the tram, boy. Doesn't get very many points for originality, but I suppose it is effective. Yep, there they go. You take the tram. Good timing, you gotta say, on our part. Alright, so obviously the mission is linear because you're literally on a train line. So uh, we're going to be progressing from one end to the other. Nice little effect there where you're like holding your hand out in front of you to block the rain and stuff. They didn't have to put in that effort, but they did, and I appreciate it. All right, you earned the right to live this day. Now, I mentioned in a previous episode that the defense with the lightsaber is all done automatically. It's sort of on a dice roll, I guess, or a timer, or a combination of both. References. Um, the thing is, once we get to be a little bit more powerful, the uh, ability that we have to block will become much better and we'll be like reflecting things back at people and blocking like multiples. It'll be great. But until then, occasionally I'm just going to get shot. And that's unfortunate, but that's how it's going to be. Don't know what that guy was doing. He was clearly not paying attention. Well, well. In terms of the actual lightsaber combat, I really, really like it. It is admittedly very floaty, and you kind of just flail in a way. Um, because the defense is all done automatically, even lightsaber to lightsaber, you kind of just swing and hope that you catch them on a, on a good hit. But that said, if you're in the middle of a swing, then you'll probably get hit. So there is some uh, there is some skill involved. And if you ever actually play this game and go into the multiplayer, yeah, there is some skill involved. We'll leave it at that. But uh, something about it, just the way that it works. All right. Get rid of this guy. I could probably just leave him, but where's the fun in that, right? Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is probably my favorite lightsaber combat of all the Star Wars games that I've played. Not that I've played all of them, but I have played many of them. And I think uh, especially once we start getting into more advanced lightsaber stuff, which we'll worry about in... Oh. Does anyone actually have that voice? It's like Christian Bale as Batman voice, you know? But uh, anyways, yes, lightsaber combat, quite good, quite fun, and uh, does get more involved as we get on. That's one of the cool things, is as you progress through all these missions, you do slowly get more powerful. I wonder, only I could, oh yeah, that was easy. You know, it's not exactly like there are RPG elements, but there is a little bit of, obviously there's a lot of character customization in terms of skills and then just a straight power increase, which is cool. I always enjoy that element. It makes you feel like you're actually progressing, especially since we're supposed to be, you know, going through our Jedi training and whatnot. 
Like, hey, we're actually getting stronger. You can see why I uh, always choose this gun. Even though the zoom on it is a little funky. Ooh, see? Even when it's used against me, it's quite effective. And once again, you'll notice that that heal comes in very, very handy. Especially when it's at level 3, and I can just run around and attack people. Gotcha. Oh, look, it's the same kind of bomb. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, mission accomplished. Bad news, Chief. The trend yeah. is speeding up. I think they're going to ram it into the station. You Didn't see that coming, huh? Stop that train. Honestly, I blame Jaden for saying that that wasn't so bad. Just one of the things you never say. Anyways, it's uh, pretty obvious where we have to go, so we'll just continue progressing in this direction. Gotta say, they put a lot of dudes on this train. I haven't been counting, but surely we're going to be up near, like, 30 dudes by the time that we finish this. Oh, we got more. So those uh, basic Sith guys are just that, quite basic, and you will be destroying them with ease. Uh, there it is. Now that was too close. Great work, Jaden. I took out those ships, so I think we're in the clear now. All right. Excellent work on the tram. It's lucky you two showed Maybe Luke's mood has improved. Hopefully, he isn't still angry at us. Oh, he is. Something's come up. We need you back at the academy. All right. So now that we've completed Brother, all five of the missions, despite everything, you've really kept your balance and control. We get a little eval there. It actually doesn't matter. Um, the story is not affected whatsoever by what skills you choose. Someone sliced into my personal records and accessed some highly sensitive. We'll get some exposition. Places where I felt a strong connection to the Force. Places like Cloud City, Hoth, and Bis. <laughs> What could they get from that besides a tour? Something Shut missed. up, Rosh. I believe that the scepter Jaden saw was so even Kyle hates Rosh now. The residual force power from the Masasi Temple. Drain the force? How can anyone do that? I'm not sure, but I've learned from the Jedi holocron that devices were created in the past that could absorb and store force energy. Those people Jaden saw may have discovered some way to harvest force power with that scepter, which could be dangerous indeed. Yeah. So what Crowd noise. Do? <laughs> we'll have to investigate any locations for my records. That includes all of you students. Corin, you're going to Wayland. Kyle, I need you to look at the Valley of the Jedi. And guess where we're going. Real action. Why would they be stealing force power? I don't know. You worry too much, Jaden. I bet that these cult guys can't take on a Jedi. Well, we're not Jedi yet. We're just students. You may be just students, but you're both well on your way, so don't rush it. Well, at least one of you is. You to Hoth, where I had a vision of Obi Wan Kenobi. I imagine there was a pretty strong aura there. Rosh, I'm sending you to the remains of the planet Bis. It's very remote, so I doubt the cult has been there. Don't. And we don't trust you with a more serious assignment. May still be operating in the area. No problem. That's everyone then. May the force be with all of you. So anyways, essentially the way that this works is uh, in between each set of missions, we get one set mission that's sort of like a bigger story mission. This one, obviously, we are going to Hoth. Sort of an important place in the uh, Star Wars lore, you might be aware. Many would argue that uh, Empire Strikes Back is the best of all the movies. I wouldn't necessarily disagree. 
And uh, there is a particular element of Hoth that we do get to explore. Well, a couple, actually, that you might be kind of excited about. Looks as hospitable as always. You hear the, the very loud footsteps? Those aren't my footsteps. But because the cutscene is rendered in-engine, we actually get... Uh, we get... Mm, wait for it. Is Master Skywalker wrong about this place? What's that? Follow the light. Check it out. So yeah, that loud noise was actually these tauntauns walking around. Cover more distance with one of those tauntauns. Yes, he did the thing. I don't care what you say, I like it. But it is funny that, like I said, because the cutscene is in engine, Imperials. we actually get the sound effects yes, of the uh, right tauntauns all. running around. I was really hoping there I could, that I could run that guy over. I actually couldn't remember if I could or not, but apparently not. Sad times. Maybe uh, if there's ever a Jedi Knight 3. I don't think there's one, right? Well, maybe if there is, we can get mounted Tauntaun combat. That would be awesome. Think like Mountain Blade, but with Tauntauns and lightsabers. Oh yeah. Everything that Banner Lord should have been. Anyways, here's another thing that's going to make you go, Hey, look, it's the thing from the movie. Wait for it. I don't want to hurt you. Yay! This guy is a little bit beefier than his movie counterpart, as you can see. Shouldn't give you too much trouble, though. And as I mentioned, Force Lightning is kind of useless right now. It did kind of send him flying backwards, though. Yeah, and stay down. You know, another very kind of subtle but nice thing in this is uh, the way it slows down every time you kill a, uh, a boss enemy or mini boss enemy. Just adds a little bit more emphasis to it. I think that might be toggleable in the options menu. I'm not going to bother checking now. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. You know, it's funny, when I was uh, younger, one thing that always blew my mind was when you actually saw those droids to scale. I always thought they were way smaller just based on how they looked in the, the movie. Maybe it was just me. But uh, as you might imagine, this particular mission and most of these story missions are going to end up being a little bit longer. Oh, collateral. Yes. Um, they're pretty much longer, and many of them end with sort of a boss fight. That was weird. It's like they heard my gun charging up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. This one is no exception. We are going to have a little boss fight at the end, which will be pretty cool. Now, one thing to watch out for on this particular part, as I learned several times, is that uh, you might want to just go ahead and get on this turret. And get on the... get on... there we go. Yeah. Getting stepped on by the ATST is an auto kill, I believe. And uh, I definitely speak from past experience. Now, many of these uh, missions I am playing through for the first time in a while, so occasionally, like right now, I might forget exactly where the door is. Um, I will try and not include anything that is too, uh, too terrible in terms of getting lost. Not that the game is all that maze-like, 
but there is definitely some moments when you can uh, get lost. So if we ever do get to that point, I might just do a reload and a retake. We'll see. Surround the Jedi. That doesn't sound good. The Jedi. That's who's there. Gee, I wonder if that can be broken. Yeah. Ah, got him. Uh, was this a secret, or is this the right way? Okay. Then this is an optional area. I use the term secret very loosely, even though it says secret area there. I mean... It's kind of obvious. I don't know why they put the shield booster there right next to the other shield booster, but it would have been much more useful to put that slightly further. It's alright, though. Or, you know, what I could do is I could sit here and just, like, bag on a game that's 17 years old. We could do that. Whoops. Whoops. These little conversations are kind of weird. Yeah, that'll do it. It's alright, he won't have to live with the guilt anymore. Oh yeah, you can do that, huh? You know, all this time... Totally forgot about that. Yeah, in fact, uh, as of right now, when my saber defense is not all that good, that's probably a pretty good option. Force push into, like, a healing blow. The things you remember, right? That is very clearly still useless, though. You. Get. Yeah. Alright, fine. He bested me. That guy must have had the uh, upgraded armor. There. Oh, there's a the thing up there. Now, one thing I do remember about this game... Oh, look, here we go. Obligatory turret section. This one, however, is thankfully short and optional. Technically, you could have just run in there. I never really liked turret sections in games. You know, it, they just seem kind of pointless and kind of lazy. Can't hit me. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't another ATST. That would have been uh, not so good. This is kind of cool, though, right? Like we're actually going back over what was the battlefield, the battlefront, if you will. Hmm. Now, when you uh, Talk about what the best Star Wars game is. I would argue this is one of the best, but the original Battlefront? Yep. 
You know, I keep wanting to use that roll attack because it looks cool, but it's really not that useful. There, Echo Base. All right, give me the pickups. Okay, can I get over here without getting shot? Yep. Reminds me, actually, uh, I need to hotkey Force Lightning for when I get it fully upgraded. What's cool is, because this is a PC game, you can keybind every single Force Power. Some of them are auto-bound, um, but you can customize them, obviously. So if you have particular ones that you use all the time. So like what I'm probably going to do is F by default is bound to uh, force power. And so I'll just keep that on heal probably most of the time and then bind G as uh, force lightning, which I think is what I've done in the past. Anyways, we're looking for a secret entrance here. I don't remember exactly where it is. I know it's somewhere around here. Follow the lights. Yeah, that... Yep, that's it right there. Oh. Come on. <laughs> there. All right. Don't ask me why we can't uh, take it out with a lightsaber. Come on, you can do it. There we go. I had to think twice there, because I'm sure you've noticed that fall damage is actually kind of extreme in this game. Going into the final section now. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? That was a lot of damage from that fall. think there's anything else good in here. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that there is absolutely 100% a Wampa. You know they wouldn't put just one Wampa in this level. How lame would that have been? Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> You gotta love the stormtroopers when they're like, you're under arrest. Like, when has a stormtrooper ever actually arrested somebody? Let's see some ID. Or let's see some ID. Like, if I pulled out my ID, were they gonna be like, oh yeah? Hey, look, it's the back to tanks, just like in the movie. Whoa! Although, I would have to go compare shot for shot because I don't think this is 100% to scale. Yeah, I just wanted uh, style points. It's not that I missed the lightsaber throw. You know, I just wanted it to look cool when I swung it around, and yeah, we'll go with that.
You know, it's funny. I feel like turrets are not very useful in most Star Wars games, too. Going back to uh, Battlefront, the best was playing with bots. And if you've ever done this, you know. You go on Camino, you choose the sniper, and you just watch as one by one they just go into the uh, turrets and you had shot them over and over. Great. All right, let's hurry this along, fellas. I got a Wampa to kill. He did the whole uh, dodging by standing still thing. I gotta say, this one has been pretty generous with the uh, shield as well. Not all too upset about that. Nothing? Okay. You know, I don't remember if I've ever talked about this before. You'd think I would remember, because it's only been three episodes, right? But, uh, oh, we got exposition. Hold on. Command center to Alora. Alora here. We've just finished downloading the data. The rebels must have erased everything during the evacuation. Fortunately, the computer kept logging their flight information. And? And we found Rogue Leader's flight trajectory when he left Hoth. From it, we've been able to determine that Skywalker went to Dagobah. Dagobah. Yeah, sneaky little Jedi. I was trying to get the drop on him there. But... This isn't good. I'd better find this Alora. So, anyways, what I was talking about before I was so rudely interrupted by that guy that I just murdered. Um, all the Star Wars games, yeah, there he is. They all use the same music. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a good soundtrack. Um, very Stravinsky-esque, certainly. But uh, it's just funny how they always use the same music instead of, like, composing original music. Which I guess there's a certain expectation. It. Ooh, did you see that? Now that guy got Skywalkered right there. It's kind of cool. Not going to lie. All right, are we going into our boss fight now? I think we are. Yes, Master. Dagobah. Skywalker didn't mention it in his journals. He must have been trying to protect something. Well done. Again, even if you didn't know she was a villain, just hearing the way that she talks, right? Yes, I am clearly a villain. That kind of over-enunciation. Are the Jedi stretched so thin that Skywalker sends children to battle the disciples of Ragnos? Then again, the red lightsaber might have given it away. And look at that, she even uses force powers on us. Shut up, not funny. You can get an idea, though, of how the, uh, not necessarily higher level lightsaber combat, but just the, uh, lightsaber combat against higher level enemies looks like. That one's so bad, though. We'll meet again. Welp. Oh, rude. I can't wait. So they know about Dagobah. Master Yoda hid there, knowing his presence would be masked by the planet's strong dark side aura. If they find it, 
Mm hmm Did you find anything on Hoth? Nothing. They must have already taken the Force energy from there. Just as others have reported. Bespin, Endor, Coruscant, everywhere. Various other places that are important to Star Wars lore? What about Bish? Rosh hasn't returned. He's long overdue and we haven't heard from him. Why am I not surprised? I sense he's still alive. I'm going to look for him. I know some people that can get me into some of the outlying Imperial outposts. I'll see what I can find out. Very well. What about me? I want to help. Rosh is my friend. You can help by staying... Come on, Jaden. You don't have to lie like that. Kyle's right. There are still missions for you to undertake. Honesty is an important quality for a Jedi. For most promising students. Promising? Yes. Due to your heroics on Hoth, we are promoting you to apprentice. Surely I am promising, because I must be one of the only ones that's killed like multiple dark Jedi's, right? Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. Check this out. We get to choose a new style. I mean, fast and strong. I will spoil it and let you know that strong is the better one. Um, so that's what we're going with. Master Skywalker and Master Guitar have left the Academy. And uh, we're going to move on to some new missions next time. So until then, I want to thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed.